products I'm going to be using. Whoa. Yeah, look, say hi. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm coming on to do a get ready with me. I'm going to be using some higher end products that I purchased from Ulta um, that I just haven't been able to use yet. And I'm going to be using some regular products that you guys know. I am going to attempt to do a Christmassy eye look. Uh, I have like a green sparkle and a red and a black and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. And if you have not met Grayson, this is my little Grayson. He is about 19 months old. He likes Coco Melon. And he likes to sit with his mommy. And hopefully today, he'll be a good boy. You guys know if you've been here before that I like to hi, moisturize my lips before, <laughs> before I get started. But today I am going to use the Too Faced Lip Injections Maximum Plump. I think I've used this in one other get ready with me and it basically made my face like get all crazy but I didn't pay $30 for this thing so that I wouldn't use it so I put that on let's keep going if you saw one of my last um, Ulta hauls I purchased the Cover Effects foundation, and when I purchased that, I got some free Cover Effects stuff with it. So, for primer, we're going to use a Cover Effects Mattifying Primer with Acne Treatment. I have not used these products yet. It's like a jelly, an opaque jelly. It smells very silicone y, which is my absolute favorite. I have got oily to normal skin and my oily spots are, you know, the normal stuff. My nose, my cheeks, my chin, sometimes between my eyebrows. So I tend to go for a more mattifying primer. Next we are going to use this dang foundation from Cover FX called Power Play in the shade G10. Um, this foundation is super expensive. I think it's like 40 bucks and y'all to me that is super expensive so let's put some on here i haven't decided do we want to put it on the sponge or put it on our face ah i've literally not tried this Placing, what are you doing? that's probably not enough i will probably add another coat we'll see what happens my lips are already getting red pink I know I can't see you guys, I'm sorry. I got a big old 30 pound baby on my lap. Okay, so I got one coat on here. I am gonna put another coat on just because um, it's a $40 foundation and I feel like the coverage is not hey, worth $40 hey, right this moment. Hey, 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 hey. hey. tell them. Hey, I do. hey. Also, I may have gotten a shade that's too light. Look. When I bought it, it wasn't hi, too light. Hi. Yeah, hi. But I have been trying out those sunless tanners, the lotions. Hi. Hi. And so I've been, I use them on my face. I know some, there's some YouTubers that are like, I do not self tan my face, but I do. And let me tell you guys, I got that Ulta one in medium to dark. You see how light my skin is. And it didn't do anything. I didn't get any any color from it. And then I accidentally got the Ultra Dark from Bondi Sands. And it, it I mean, I'm not super dark. <laughs> I'm not saying it didn't work, but I'm just saying it didn't do a whole lot for me. Okay, so as far as coverage is concerned with this foundation, I am not, like, in love. So... As far as this foundation is concerned, I did get a mirror so I could see it a little bit up closer. I am not in love with this foundation, especially for the price. Um, I feel like it's settling in my lines already. And it's also, it's not super coveragey. I did do some research before I purchased that foundation. The reason I had bought it was because it said it was for oily to normal skin. Like it was a good foundation for normal to oily, but I'm not seeing that pay off too much. 
For concealer, it's not an expensive one. This is the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer in Vanilla. I absolutely love this concealer, and I still have yet hold on, boo -boo, to use it with my actual foundation that it goes with. So we'll plop that right on in there. I am going to go down my nose a little bit more than normal because... I'm just real, <laughs> I feel some type of way about that foundation. Mm. All right, give me the lid. The lid, SpongeBob, the lid. So let's put this on here. Now I can't say that the Cover FX foundation is bad because I've only used it this one time. But what I hey, feel confident hey, in saying hey is that I paid much less for a foundation and got better results. So, do you see my lip like flaring up right now? Getting them injections, y'all. I'm about to go on with the second coat. You gonna go walk around? You wanna stay here? I'm gonna put on a second coat of the plumper and then we'll put on the setting powder. The Cover effect situation for purchasing a certain amount and then receiving um, some samples. Mm. We also got this Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light. It says it it Ooh. might be E11, but I'm not sure. It just says Translucent Light. Okay, so when you open it, it's got these five little balls here. I only have one hand because my other hand is holding the baby. So let's see if we can. So I got some of the product into the cap. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild concealer brush and probably use all of this in one swipe. It is just going everywhere. No, thank you. I do like that. I really like that as a setting powder. But that's why we do this on here, y'all. This is why we don't just say, oh, Cover FX sucks or Cover FX is great because all their products could be different. I do like it as a setting powder. My lips look out of control, I know you guys, I'm sorry. I know it literally looks like I'm getting all messed up here. We'll set some of this and some of this. And now we need to go in to our brows and our eyeshadow. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to one hand some eyeshadow, but we'll figure it out. So for eyebrows, we received this IT Brow Power from IT Cosmetics, sorry. I don't think that I purchased this, I think. This is another free thing. So it has a spoolie on one end, so we'll just straighten that out. And no, I still have not fixed my eyebrows. Sorry about that. And then the other end is the actual pencil. Now you guys know that I am not a big fan of this. I prefer to use my um, Benefit. This doesn't even work, you guys. I can't even get it out of the thing. Hey, hey. I am like ripping my skin apart to get this open. I'm like stabbing myself in the face and nothing is coming out of this. All right, so we got some color out, but I'm still like literally stabbing myself in the face. And I'm not in love with this. Maybe the reason I do not like this is because I am fully invested in the benefit one, but if you can't tell, this this is not my jam. So we're gonna leave it like that. Before we move on to um, our eyeshadow, I forgot one step that I forget every single time. I'm going to take my concealer on the Vistanti brush and do some of this work right here. Get rid of these veins and get our eye a little bit primed for eyeshadow. Um, I do not use an eyeshadow primer right now. I was given that one by Ipsy in like my very first Ipsy bag. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I just haven't Yay! gotten back to it because it's not like a straight up concealer. For the eyeshadow, my lips look like I got punched in the face. Yay. We'll clean it up later. So for eyeshadow, we're gonna go back to the Wet n Wild Rose collection that we got. This quad 
has got a green, a red, a black, and a gold. So I'm going to attempt to use all of these colors. Do I know how it's gonna go? Absolutely not. Have I thought about how I'm going to put them on? Also no. So let's see what happens. This is the brush that I use for my transition shade always. So that is the shade, the brush that we are going to use. I'm mighty nervous. Let's go in with the black, but like only so it's gray. You know what I mean? Very lightly tapping in there. I received a request recently to do a smoky eye look and smoky eye is also not my forte. Like that's just not, I, I can't sit here and be like, oh girl, I got you on a smoky eye because let me tell you, I probably don't. <laughs> but I am willing to do some research and some testing and give you guys the smoky eye that you deserve. So we did start off with that as a gray black. I am not upset with that at all. Blended really nicely. I know the thing on my eyelid looks crazy, but we'll cover it. So let's do the other side. So I think right now I've got the gray black as dark as I would like it to be. I'm gonna go in with some more shades and um, if I wanna come back and make the black darker, we can do that. For our crease shade, I'm gonna go in with this green sparkly one. I do know it is sparkly, but it is about to be holidays. Yes, sir. I really like that, to be honest with you guys. Yes. The green is not disappointing me. Like, I don't know how green it's coming off on camera. There it is. There, it's a good green. But it is... Also, let me just say, there's no fallout, no fallout, no fallout on my face, no fallout on the palette. Um, I like that. It does look a little wily right here, but we can clean that up too. Green is on. Let's go in with our LaRousse angled shading brush into the red color. And we're gonna pack it onto the eyelid, starting on the outside and getting into the inner corner of the eye. I looked through like all of my makeup palettes to find a red. And I have no red in my repertoire. I'm gonna use that word as much as I can, just so y'all know. All right, still not upset. Let's take our Tiny packing brush, and we'll go in with this goldish brown shade, you know. This is a very dark eye look, and I probably need some like more gold in the middle, but for right now, we're gonna put the colors on the lower lid the lower lash line, I'm sorry, and go from there. So the shade we used for our crease was the green one. Thank you, bubbies. Thank you very much. So we are going to continue that down onto the bottom. I'm gonna take this Luxie brush in 243 Precision Blending for my lower line, that's okay. I'll take this little green guy right here. Are you gonna break my mug? Awesome! He said it on camera, so nobody can call me a liar anymore. Not that anybody... Wow! That was an oopsie daisy there. <laughs> Should we leave it? Should we just leave it and see if we can blend it? I don't know what's gonna happen, you guys. I've never had that oopsie like that. I feel like I need some eyelashes. I look like a crazy person. Hopefully this will clean itself up. Never mind this brush. Heck this brush. Let's take our same brush and like kind of drag it into that because that is wild. I took this little brush from my little G-Man here. I'm gonna go into that golden shade. It's kind of like a, a taupe. A taupey brown. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is definitely an eye look. Let's see how this finishes. Woof. Woofsie daisies. Daisy. Yeah, I know. It's cray cray. Hopefully we can fix it with some eyeliner and some mascara. I look like a literal clown. Like this is what I want my um, little picture to be on the front of my video. Just like this. I don't put on my mascara and my eyeliner until I've set my face. So we're going to leave this look on here for a minute and do our bronzer, our blush, our highlight, and then I will set. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Hoola by Benefit with this gigantic Real Techniques brush. Okay. Say awesome. Awesome. I love both parts of this. I love this brush. I love this bronzer. I love the fact that I look like a straight up skeleton. Like literally could not be more pleased with that. My husband is going to be like, um, go back in there and fix lamps. <laughs> not really. He loves me. He loves me. He loves me not. Straight up Skeletor. That is what I am talking about, you guys. Uh -oh. Give me some. Perfect. It's perfect. This look right here, we're going out in public just like this. This is what I'm talking about. For blush, I'm going in super not heavy. You know how I do. <laughs> With the Tarte Exposed Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Brush. Blush with my Wild Rose um, Blush Brush. I cannot wait to put some eyeliner on because I am just like a hot mess right here. Let me just say how much I love that Hoola bronzer. Like I know that's what it's there for. That's what it's supposed to do and everyone loves it, but I heckin' dig it. All right, time for some highlight. Let's highlight our skeleton faces, you guys. Can we use this? You guys think this would be too aggressive? I don't even know what this brush is for. I will. I'm going to use the LA Splash Golden Hue. Golden Gatsby um, palette. What color should we go with? Should we stick with the gold? Go with the white? Maybe some pink? What are you guys feeling? Let's go in, I know, with Scratch. Maybe it will uh, lighten up our blush a little bit here. Oh, God. You gonna eat it? Don't eat that, that's yucky. Ew. Ew. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. I do love this highlight palette. I don't use it very often. But I like this brush with it. I don't think this is a highlight brush because it's not shaped like a highlight brush. But. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The sun outside went down, so if my lighting just got crazy, that's why. Hey sun is coming back out so before we go in and try to fix this look with our eyeliner and such we do need to set the powders that we have on so the third product that came with our cover effects what? sample set what? I know the light went away again is the high performance setting spray 24 hour it's got this little bead in it and I've never like experienced that before so that's good so we got Oh, it like peed out. Okay, and then it came out normal. Let me see what I got here. Eyes watering, of course. It's not even coming out. I do not like this in this tiny bottle. I'm gonna tell y'all right this heckin' second. I do not like this in this tiny bottle. I don't know if it comes out better in a big bottle, but it sure as heck is not coming out in this tiny bottle, and I've like used half of it just trying to spray right now so cover effects is not looking like it's worth the money i'll tell you that all right so what did i say we were going to do next oh fix the eyes is that what we're going to do okay that's fine for eyeliner i'm going to use the dose coal eyeliner because there's no way i'm touching this look with a liquid liner y'all know better than that it's looking better one thing that i did forget to use and i don't know like exactly if i should put it on or not because like danger zone of the eyes is this highbrow glow from benefit I guess I decided it would be worth it huh
Yeah, put that shine on top of that. Mmm. Okay, let's do some mascara. So for my, I'm gonna need to put a primer on, and then I'm gonna use the They're Real from Benefit. This is the L'Oreal one. I did say L'Oreal just like that. I apologize if you did not like that. Hi. Hi, boo. Hi, boo. This is the They're Real by Benefit. I don't believe that I have used this yet. My face looks so mm, 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 mm. gigantic wand. Oh, it has the spikies on the end. I might have used this. Bottom lashes first because when you do your bottom lashes, your top lashes touch your upper area. You're just gonna start taking brushes. That's fine. Oh, I don't know how to do this side. Hold on. Oh, I touched myself in the eye. Does that look okay? It looks giant. Let's do the top because <laughs> we can't get any worse, right? Ooh. All gone. Wow. You taking all the brushes? Oh my gosh. I can't see as well in the camera as if I were holding a palette. So I'm going to do this up here. And then I will check and see what they look like in a palette mirror. I heckin' ordered like this tiny little vanity thing from Wish. I know, what the heck were you doing? First of all, I ordered it in the beginning of November and it did not get to me until two days ago. But then I ordered it with a mirror. The purpose of the tiny vanity was that it had a mirror on it and it came without the mirror. Awesome. So I got a refund because heck that. All right, I'm gonna check this in my mirror here. Did you see that? They're like sticking together. Wow. Oh, I like this mascara, y'all. What? Oh yeah, I know, what? I kind of feel like they're spidery. Let's see a full focus. Whoa. But, you know, that's okay. <laughs> Because look at the face we put it on. The light went down again. That is really driving me bonkers. For our final product today, I am going to put on a lip that is more nude than it is red. I was nervous to grab the red because I did not know how the eye would turn out. So, we're going to put this lip on. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to take my brush that I used for my setting powder. And I'm going to take my setting powder. And I'm going to kind of outline my lips a little bit because like my injection spots are really showing up and I really need to clean them. Now typically, and I've done it before, you use concealer and then you would set it. I have not used these yet for a get ready with me just because I always have so much product um, to be testing and stuff, but I'm very excited to try this. This is the NYX Shine Loud in Magic Maker, and I love these. So let me tell you a little story. When I got these, I immediately swatched them on my hand, and I swatched them with the matte side, and then I put on the gloss shine side. Those swatches did not come off my hands for three days. Three days, y'all. My son is chewing on something. I know that that sounds disgusting, but. You guys, my injection sites are out of control. I'm gonna go in with the shine side. And I ha if I have to mute you during this, it's because Grayson is playing with the brushes. Fantastic. You know what? I don't know about y'all, and I cannot wait to read the comments, but I'm gonna be honest, I kinda like the way this look came together. I like the bronziness of my pale face. I like this dark eyeshadow look. I love this lip. This is this is my jam right now, you guys. This is straight up my jam. I'm gonna take some pictures and we're gonna do that. So if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything that I use today, please leave them down below and I will be sure to answer them. <sighs> Sorry, Grayson is going wily right now. And as always, please consider subscribing to my channel because it lets me know that what I am doing is beneficial to you guys. <laughs> Everything just went so smoothly today. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.